the head. Oh, it's a lot of wheel spin. Oh my God. Today's motor drag battle is probably going to be our fastest ever because thanks to Mustang Motorsport, we have two tuned Mustangs, which courtesy of some supercharging have 750 horsepower. Oh, and there's some standing water halfway down the track. Today could be interesting. Dan, before we begin, this car comes with one really cool little extra in the boot. Uh, a Mickey Thompson radial slick. That is cool, but not what I'm talking about. These little toolbox with Roush written on the tools. It's really cool. And it also includes this, which is a coin to flip to choose which lane you want to go You're in. Kidding. So that's super cool. <laughs> I'll flip. You pick. Okay. You call it. Uh, is it heads and tails? No, it's left and right. Oh, left. Wrong. Right. Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. Okay. Okay, really special drag battle for you guys today. We've got two high power Mustangs, both of which have been tuned by Mustang Motorsport in Australia, and they both have Roush superchargers on them. The car that my friend Dan over there is driving has a supercharger kit. The difference is the car that I'm driving has the full Roush treatment. So it also has the Eaton supercharger, but it has chassis tweaks, it has tweaks to the wheel and tire package as well. Now both cars produce 750 horsepower and 900 Newton meters. So we are not going to be short of horsepower today. And to make matters worse, there is a little bit of standing water halfway down the drag strip and I am packing it. Dan, how are you feeling over there? I'm excited and terrified in equal measure. It's days like today when you realize the difference between excitement and nervousness and deep fear, deep seated fear. Um, I'm excited, uh, but I'm also uh, worried how this is going to end up, Alex. We both have done one exploration run in these cars and they are exciting. Probably one of the most exciting cars we've ever done on a motor drag battle. So we're gonna do our usual deal. We're gonna do a launch control run between the two cars. And then after that, the car that I'm in also comes with a pair of sticky drag radials. So I wanna bolt those on, see what difference that makes. Uh, I hope I don't regret saying this, Alex. Let's go. Okay, full launch control in three, two, one, go. Oh, I'm ahead. Oh, it's a lot of wheel spin. Oh, oh my God, this is terrifying. Oh, come on. And full throttle now. He's in full throttle. Ah. That was easily one of the most stressful situations I've ever been in behind the wheel of a car. I imagine that is the automotive equivalent of mainlining heroin. I certainly feel alive and I'm really glad that I'm alive. Ooh, that was exciting. These things are mental. These are mental. How good do they sound? Oh, incredible. But that power is relentless. I think I was bleeding the throttle on all the way to the 400 meter mark. I never ran out of power. I know, I started to transfix on the damp spots and I was like, ah, full throttle. Was... So frightening, but so awesome at the same time. These cars are mega. They and are you did so win. Quick. You did win, Alex. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Want to go again? Of course. Yeah, cool. Let's do one more run with the normal tyres on. Yeah. Then I'm going to throw the stickier drag radials on, see what difference that makes. Okay, let's do it. All right. Oh, that was fun. That took me back to my childhood when I was terrified of going on really scary rides at theme parks. The anticipation before you get on and then that sense of exhilaration and adrenaline and adrenaline and relief at the end. It was really, really exciting and fun. Cool car. Three, two, one, go. Oh, he got me big time. Come on. Oh, have I got it this time? I think I have. Oh, I'm coming at him hard. Oh no, he's coming through the line! That can't be possible! How did he do that? Oh, wow, 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 wow. I was ahead, and somehow he came through the line. Oh, he had the jump on me big time. 
I wasted a lot of wheel spin in that initial launch phase, but... How did you do that? I took a brave pill and just flattened it and hung on. <laughs> that was so frustrating. I was ahead for most of the way and you just absolutely killed me at the line. How did this happen? I had the same problem that you had in that initial launch where I just wasted it in wheel spin to get, you know, get off the line. But when I finally got moving, I was behind. So I just threw caution to the wind and just put the <laughs> throttle to the firewall. Holy, holy shit. That was, yeah, that was scary. Okay, I will point out this point. You have Continental um, Sport Contacts on the back and I've got Michelins. So there is a tire difference. There is a uh, tire difference. Guys in the car, our judges from Mustang Motorsport have noted that they believe Dan jumped the start on that one. <laughs> with the Mustang Motorsport guys on hand to help with the tyre change, we switched to a set of Mickey Thompson ET Street R-Drag radials for the next run. With a stickier compound and minimal tread, it'll be interesting to see just how much additional grip they provide. Okay Dan, first things first, how good does a Mustang look with drag radials fitted to it? If only they were road legal, they look amazing. Second thing, we have swapped lanes, simply because uh, the lane that you are now in has a little bit more standing water on top of it, uh, and we think it's probably safer to run this car in the, in the lane with less water. So that's why we've swapped. It's gonna be very interesting to see how much more aggressive this car launches off the line now that it's got a bit more grip. So you're such a glutton for victory, you're in the faster car with the better tires and you've given me the suicide lane. Thank you very much, Alex. No problem, old boy, good luck. I've never driven on drag radials before. This is going to be very interesting. 750 horsepower. I wonder if it's still going to be traction limited or if those enormous tires are just going to grip and go. He's definitely got more traction. Oh my God, this thing is terrifying. <laughs> I got my answer! <laughs> that was way closer than I was anticipating. Oh dear, oh dear. Still doesn't stop it being utterly terrifying and immensely good fun in equal measures. I probably gave it a bit too much throttle thinking I'd have more grip, but man this car is exciting. Well there you go Dan. Uh, I had a lot more wheel spin than I was expecting, but man, this car is fast. Yeah, I, my brain is fried. I'm struggling to work out what happened there. That was the closest we've been all day. Maybe I'm just finding my niche in this car. I don't know. I think part of that was down to operator error. I just fed it too much throttle thinking I'd have more grip. Right. Okay. I overestimated the grip of the drag radials. Well, I'm pleased that at least once today you've had operator error instead of me, so <laughs> good. All right, I'm feeling slightly a bit better about it. We'll run some times on these cars to get an actual accurate reading of how quick these yeah. drag radials are, because that was not the fastest. But yeah. even though it wasn't fastest launch, still beat you. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. He's such a gallant victor. So how fast are they? Well, to extract the best times possible from the Roush Mustang, we slotted in Craig Dean from Mustang Motorsport to see just what the car is capable of. On a fairly slow surface and without a one foot rollout, Craig managed a best run of four seconds flat to 100 k's an hour, or 62 miles an hour, and an 11.7 second quarter mile with a trap speed of 201 k's an hour. As for the other Mustang, Despite its identical power and torque figures, it's around half a second slower to both milestones. Now let's see how they compare over a roll race with both cars wearing their stock tyres. Even Stevens, 50 k's an hour. Floor it. Oh, it's skating, oh sh This car is so exciting. How is he doing this? Uh, oh no, I'm gapping him. 220 k's an hour. Oh my goodness. 
That's not possible. Wow, very exciting car. <laughs> it feels traction limited all the way down the strip. This car is a machine. It just it feels like it's got a unlimited amount of grunt and um, even right at the top end there at 200 k's an hour, it feels like it's about to burst into wheel spin. Yeah, that was just as terrifying as all the other races we've done today. So there you have it. Even though their V8s are both supercharged, the extra cooling and additional modifications mean the Silver Stage 3 Roush is the quicker car. If you'd like to see us race more modified cars, let us know in the comments below. 750 horsepower, 900 newton meters, standing water on the track. It's not spelled good time for Alex, but hopefully good time for you guys at home.